Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and you can get new comics on the shelves. You can get them digitally, you can get them physically, you can get them any way you want. It's like one of the best things about comics nowadays. You can get them any way that you want and read them any way you want. Uh, so Boom Studios has hooked us up with one of the releases. This is the third volume of Wild's End. This is Journey's End, Volume 3. You can see we got the nice little sticker for the review copy. Uh, this is written by Dan Abnett and then illustrated by I.N.J. Kulberg. Basically, this is a reimagining of the world, War of the Worlds, uh, done with anthropomorphic characters. It's this weird British old-timey world. Uh, so there's a lot of kind of like that British colloquialisms or saying stuff like that i i understood what was being said uh if you haven't read the previous two volumes go for it like as a whole these three volumes together are really entertaining if you like war of the worlds this is actually a fairly original take on that and it's really really good uh, there's a fantastic set of characters set up uh the villains are a little bit different than the normal war of the worlds and the ending i think is different um, so overall, like, I absolutely love this, this story. I love this finale. I liked it in the fact that it did not end the way I thought it was going to end. I expected a very different ending. Uh, for those who don't know, like, Dan Abnett is an amazing writer. He does fantastic, uh, sci-fi. He's just, actually, and just in general, just a fantastic writer. One of my favorites is he had an amazing run in Aquaman recently. Uh, he, I, I loved his work in the Games and Workshops universe. His Warhammer 40k stuff is awesome. Um, he was, he rocked it with Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. I think his, his, uh, Guardian stuff is some of the best Marvel cosmic that's out there. Just epic in scale and, and story. And these three volumes have been that as well. It's a great story. It is a great, uh, reimagining of a classic story and does it in a very creative way that I think is original and interesting and makes it stand out. Um, also within the story that I think is really cool is that in between the chapters there's small details like maybe a journal or a memo or like a, a message from between military units or a story and another story into itself uh, that adds flavor throughout the, the whole universe. It's really, really cool how that's been done through all three volumes. Um, the art is cool. I really dig the art. So, uh... There's additional material by Nick Abnett. Uh, I'm guessing Nick did like the in-between stuff. Uh, designers Kara Leopold, uh, Leopard, editors Cameron Chidock and Daphna Plebin. Um, yeah, so let's let's show off at least some of the art. So let's let's go with that. Check that out. So I said it's it's uh, it's anthropomorphic animals done in a very War of the world sort of thing. Um, give you some of that action there. And it's uh, it's good. It's really, really good. It's entertaining. I like it. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. It's, just, it's basically, if you like sci-fi, if you like the concept of a bunch of animals trying to fight for freedom against these, like, aliens that look like lampposts, you're going to dig this. It's really good. Obviously, it's the third volume. You don't want to start with the third volume. You want to start from the beginning. We're going to do some reviews of those as well. We're going to get them up there. Um, it's, this is the finale. It's well worth it. I've been waiting some time to, uh, to check out this finale, and it pays off. It's good. It's really good. It's not what I expected at all. There's some twists. There's some turns. It gets really fascinating and uh, very different than anything I expected at all in the in the story and how it plays out. So I just absolutely recommend this. This is one I highly recommend. You should go get this. It's out in comic shops today. Don't know if it's in bookstores today. I think it's probably going to be in bookstores next Tuesday. Um, there's usually a lot, at least a week delay for a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, like this is this is cool. This is really good. If you dig the concept, go for it. Uh, it retails for $19.99. It's thick. Like, you get your money's worth for $19.99. This is, this is not a quick read. It takes a little bit. There's tons of extra material that will uh, keep you busy as well. Uh, the extra material, what I mean, is like the in-between chapter stuff. This is, like, you can go with that. Like, that's a perfect example of the in-between chapters thing. Um, 
So yeah, go. I recommend this. Start from the beginning. Start with volume one and go from there. Uh, yeah, I want to thank Boom for opening us up with this. As always, appreciate the, the the review copies. We also like to to notify you, the viewers, so you know uh, what we got for free, and you can make your decision. You can go get this in comic book shops today. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Uh, you can put it in your zip code. It'll tell you the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We've got affiliate links. I'm going to put affiliate link for all three volumes underneath so you can start from the beginning. Uh, I highly recommend it. I absolutely recommend getting it. It's well worth checking out. Uh, if you're into Boom, if you're into comics, if you are into sci-fi, I guess, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.